Hi everyone, Carissa back with you today. I'm doing an unboxing of the July Mind the Scrap Kits. Um, I'm a little bit late in putting this up because I've only just started cutting into the June kits. Um, life's been a bit manic since I've started back at work again, but um, let's go through and I'll show you everything, all the goodies that I've got this month. So I'll start with the papers and we have the from the Let's Stay Home collection by Pinkbrush Studio uh, this rainbow paper I'm sure you've seen a lot of it um, I do really like the idea of this collection and I've had to resist um, buying the whole lot because I don't need more stuff right now <laughs> the second paper is from Cartabella Summer Market um, I love their papers, they're so thick and textured and they just have like a really nice textured feel to them. And then on the other side we just have a white on green tiny polka dot. Next we have one from Pink Paisley and Many More which is their most recent birthday collection. Um, this one's sort of like um, paper lanterns or balloons or something. Um, it actually, because I'm looking at wedding stuff a lot, it actually reminds me a lot of the sort of ceiling balloon setups I've seen in a few places. I don't know if we're having one yet, so I won't save the paper for that. And then this side, uh, I think it's supposed to be like an ocean scene. I could easily see you like fussy cutting a, a photo of a surfer or something and using it as a as a scene um, and we've got this really cute bunting on the branding strip as well next is a paper from Maggie Holmes and Crate Paper Sweet Story um, so we have this um, green geometric pattern and then it's not quite check but you might not be able to see it's sort of like a, a swatch pattern on the back these ones are more of a pink and then more peachy on this side which is quite cool so you could use that probably for anything to do with a renovation and painting that sort of thing here we have another Pink Fresh Studio Let's Stay Home. Um, I love these hearts actually, they're really cute. Um, um, literally every colour that's in the collection. And on the back, another geometric rhombus diamond shape. Next. And last in the patterned papers, we have Echo Park Summertime, um, and we have this yellow and white stripe here, and then on the other side are some cut apart journaling cards. These are easily big enough that you could use them as elements in, like pages in a mini book, or you could fussy cut the icons and use them as um, embellishments in their own right. Um, but yeah, lots you could do with that. If you don't want to use the yellow side, which I'm not sure yet. <laughs> the coloured cardstock this month is this gorgeous blue textured basil. It's called um, Typhoon, but to me it's sort of a dark cornflower colour. Goes very well with the papers. And then, as always, your standard black and white mind scrap hard stocks. So, also in the main kit, we got a set of thickers. These are the sweet pea ones, which are a sort of um, slightly iridescent pink on foam, uh, pink chipboard on foam. Um, so, looking forward to using those. Not entirely sure which collection they match with. And next, we have some puffy frames from Maggie Holmes' Sweet Story. We have some similar ones to this at 
last year at some point for the All Heart collection and I really enjoyed using them. These ones are a little bit different because they've got designs printed on the inside of the frame, um, which I know you can remove that bit if you want to, so um, there's a bit of flexibility with that. And the gold ones are very shiny. And lastly, in the main kit, we have these cardstock stickers from Damask Love. Uh, this is, um, it's a new designer that Emma's put a few bits in lately that we I've not heard of before. Um, but this collection's all girl power and there's lots of, um, you know, girl power type icons, fries before guys, lots of faces and things like that. Um, so very girly and empowering. It's not something I use an awful lot, those type of slogans, but um, the colours are very pretty and I'm sure I will be able to make them work. Okay, so next we have the embellishment kit um, and the main, main bit in the in the embellishment kit is these Pink Fresh Studio journaling bits, again from the Let's Stay Home collection. So there's a few tags in there, envelopes, um, and also a few smaller things as well. Um, I could easily see these being incorporated into a mini book or any sort of interactive product project. Um, you could put photos or hidden journaling in the album. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to using those. Next we have the ephemera pack from um, Echo Park Summertime, um, so again lots of fruity embellishments, so watermelons, pineapples, um, there's a unicorn rubber ring there, um, and just lots of summery colours. Lastly in the embellishment kit we have some puffy dots from Pebbles. Uh, that's from the Lovely Moments collection, so these will coordinate with that. Um, I've still got loads left over from the um, their birthday collection. I can't remember the name of, but I had two packs of them. So I've got a lot of puffy dots to use up. Okay, last but not least, we have the Mixed Media Kit. So we have a stamp pack this month um, from Kelly Creates. There's a floral frame stamp here. Um, you could easily put that to frame your journaling or a small photo. It's probably a bit small for a photo. But, um, and then all these um, flowers and leafy bits as well, which you could obviously arrange any way you want to make different bunches of flowers. To go with that, we have a Pink Fresh Studio um, hybrid ink. Um, I don't think I've used hybrid ink before. I've only recently sort of learnt the proper differences between pigment and dye based and everything. Um, so it'd be interesting to compare those to what I've already got. And last but not least, we have a Pink Fresh Studio um, liquid watercolour. So we got another one of these recently in yellow. Uh, this is the aquamarine colour and I'm quite excited to use it because the yellow is so pigmented and I just really loved having a play with it so it'd be nice to put them together maybe. And there you have it, that is everything I got in the July Mind Scrap kits. I hope you enjoyed having a little look. Um, I will pop the link to Mind Scrap below as I always do when I unbox these. Um, and yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, keep an eye out for um, any video, any process videos um, creating with these kits. I will try to get some up. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.